Hello everyone, this is Northwind here. Welcome back to Code Combat. I am in the Backwoods Forest still, and we're continuing on right here. In the last episode, we did our first dueling ground battle arena thing. Uh, but right now, we're going to move on to the Agrippa defense. Let the enemy close, then strike when the moment is right. Basic syntax, the arguments, strings, variables, while loops, and if statements. All right, we don't have any new items. Code Combat. So we're going to rid the meadow of ogres. Don't waste your cleave on only a few enemies. Be sure to start with distance two to catch as many as possible. All right, so let's see what they've written out for us here. All right, so we've got a loop. We've declared an enemy variable and then found the nearest enemy. So if enemy exists, find the distance to the enemy with distance two. If the distance is less than five meters and if cleave is ready, otherwise just attack. All right, so right, we're just going to get rid of this elephant there and then take a look at our code here. So the loop exists. We found the nearest enemy. If enemy exists, then we're going to get the distance to that enemy. If it's less than five meters and if cleave is ready, then we're going to use cleave. Otherwise, we're just going to attack. So let's give that a shot. Attention. All right. <laughs> I guess Cleve wasn't ready, but it should be ready for this one. There you go. I think we're doing okay. There we go. Success. Excellent. All right. So let's move on to Munchkin Swarm. What's this one say? Loot a gigantic chest while surrounded by a swarm of mu ogre munchkins. Syntax, arguments, strings, variables, while loops, and if statements. All right. No new items. Code combat. We're going to break open the chest uh, and stay alive. The ingredients to beat this level are if else distance to less than cleave while true loop and attack chest. Put them all together to break the chest and survive the munchkin onslaught. All right. So in this case, they've given us a couple little things there. Check the distance to the nearest enemy. First things first, let's make sure that the enemy exists. Find nearest enemy, not item. And distance equals self dot distance to uh, and then that's gonna be enemy alright so if distance is less than 10 then we are going to self uh, let's see here then we're gonna cleave it otherwise we're gonna attack the chest okay so let's see if self dot is ready and again I'm gonna do that then we're going to self dot cleave at the enemy all right Else, we're going to self dot attack the chest. All right, let's take a look here. Don't forget to close off those parentheses. So, have a loop going. We're going to declare an enemy. We're going to find the distance to that enemy. If it's closer than 10 meters, we're going to use cleave. If not, then we're going to attack the chest. All right, so that's what it tells us to do. Let's see if it actually works. We are not attacking the chest. We are not attacking anything. Ah, because it's chest and not chest. All right. And it doesn't look like we were actually using cleave either. Did I misspell distance or misspell enemy? It doesn't look like it. And looking at it right here, it looks like everything is correct. Distance is less than 10. Maybe they don't like spaces there. No, they've got to like spaces there. All right. And we're going to do that just so that it's all nice and easy to read. Uh, that should work. So far, so good. Okay. I think this will do it. It all just happened to be that the chest wasn't... 
the chest wasn't in capitalized. Okay. So we got a new item. What's the new item? It looks like some kind of a banner. Basic flags. Okay. Let's see what flags actually do. Um, let's just say Coinacopia. All right. Start playing in real time with input flags as you collect gold coins. Uh, well, let's equip that. Let's see. This allows you to sell, send real-time input to your hero by placing flags. Find flag returns your flag to the given color. If it exists, if the color is unspecified, returns one of your flags regardless of color. The three flag colors are green, black, and violet. You can pick up the flag, moves and removes the flag that was placed during a real-time playback. Find the flag with find flag first, and then again, the colors are green, black, and violet. All right, well, let's take a look. I'm a little bit confused about what they're asking here. Use flags to collect at least 20 gold. Uh, you now have access to flags. Check the lower right for more information. You don't need to change the sample code to win. Press submit and place some flags. Novesty. All right, read the sample code to understand how flags work. All right, so press submit when you're ready to place flags. Flag buttons appear in the lower left after pressing submit. So there's a loop. We're gonna create a flag and find that flag. If flag exists, they're gonna pick up that flag. You're gonna say, place a flag for me to go. Chashin. For this level, you don't type any code. Just hit submit and place flags in real time from the lower left. All right, well, let's take a look here. This is a little bit confusing. I'm not quite sure what they want. Place a flag for me to go. Novesty. All right, so we want green to go here. I'm guessing... Not quite sure what they want. Black flag goes here. Here. No, one at a time. Those are red flags. Very, very strange. Okay. It looks like we're just placing flags wherever they want us to go, so. Hmm. All right. Well, let's give it another go. And I'm really curious about where, whether we need to use them in Not different order. Well, we'll start with green. We're going to go here. And then we're going to go... Where's the next one? Oh, I guess those are the coins. Oh, okay. I'm looking for gigantic coins. Novesty. All right, I see. I understand. And yeah, I'm just using different colors of flags here. And I don't know how many coins that I've got. Oh, it's in the right-hand corner. I might actually make this, but it's unlikely. All right, we'll give it one more try. I think I've got this now. All right, so we're going to go here. 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 I think there's a way for me to use that using the, um, oh, what's it called, uh, the pass that they had laid out here. But I'm not going to worry about that too much. I know we've got enough that we can actually get through the level. I think I prefer going over my code not in real time, but you know what? I'm perfectly fine with it. It'll work. All right, continuing on. What's the next one we've got here? Copper Meadows. All right, let's check our time really quick. Uh, looks like we're about 12 minutes in. Yeah, we'll go through this then, then we'll probably call this episode done. This level exercises if else, objects, uh, variables, flag placement, and collection. Code Combat. Use flags to collect all of the coins. Ooh, okay. So it looks like what we're going to want to do here is we're going to want to go up. Let's see. Just like checking if an enemy, you can check the position of a flag. If you can't, if you can even find the X and Y coordinates of flag position. Oh, excuse me. You can even find the X and Y coordinates of flag position. So, so flag, find the flag, say the flag position, say the flag position of the X coordinate. All right. So collect all the coins in each meadow, use flags to move between the meadows, press submit 
when you are ready to place flags. So let's take a look and see what they've already written. So create a flag variable by finding the nearest flag. If a flag exists, then they're going to want us to pick up the flag. All right, so pick up flag flag. All right, is it self dot pick up flag? I'm fairly certain it is, but just to make sure. Yeah, self dot pick up flag flag. All right. Otherwise, automatically move to the nearest item you see. Okay. If item exists, find that item position, X position, Y position, and then move to that X, Y. Fairly certain that this is going to work, but um, let's, let's give it a shot. We're going to start with green. Pick up all of those. And then go over here. Move to black after that. Although I don't think it really matters. And go down here. It's interesting to see that the character doesn't have... I mean, has limits to how much they can actually see. Alright, so far so good. And then we're going to go over here. And hopefully, we might actually pick up all of these on the way. Uncertain, but we'll see. It's possible. Now. Which means we'll probably have to end up going back. Nope, she can see it. Excellent. That's all of them. Alright. The flag component of this is a little bit strange, but I understand why they're doing it. Alright. Uh, do we have time for one more? I know I cut off a little bit of time here. Uh, we are at about 15 minutes, probably a little bit less, so I apologize if this video is a little bit short, but, you know, some of them are. Some of these levels are a little bit easier than others, and I am finding that I am liking the 15 kind of minute episodes, 15 to 20, a little bit more than the longer episodes. So thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. I'm going to hold off to do this until I get a little bit more feedback on whether or not you guys prefer me using Python or whether you would prefer me to move back to JavaScript. Um, but yeah, leave a comment, leave a like to let me know how you enjoyed the series, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.